Hello friends, welcome to my safety webcast and in this video demonstration we are going to see how to install DFS in Windows Server 2002 library. Before uh, installing DFS server role, let's say something about what is DFS. So DFS is used to organize distributed uh, SMB file shares into DFS server. With the help of DFS, you can access share folders using the single UNC path. Although the shares can be on a different server, the location is transparent to the users. In simple way, we can say DFS improves on the use of the share folders by enabling you to organize your share folders and enabling you to distribute shares on multiple servers. So DFS can also provide redundancy to improve data availability while minimizing the amount of traffic passing over the van links. The two technologies in DFS includes first one is a DFS namespaces and second one is a DFS replication. In addition to that, uh, we can even use uh, DFS to replicate the files and folders on a multiple server. It would help to prevent the situation of single point of failures. So let's understand the details. If you have a share folder on uh, your computer, uh, srt fs one and that is the name of our server. And if it fails, then all the data will be gone. So you might consider an option to take a backup, but uh, taking backup Storing backup and restoring backup could be tedious and lengthy process. So another option is to use DFS. If you create a share folder on our computer, for example, that is the name of that server is SRT-FS01, and another share folders on another computer, that is, for example, let's take SRT-FS02. So DFS would help in replicate data between our both server SRT-FS01 and SRT-FS02. So in future videos, we will talk about the steps to configure DFS to access shared folders and configure DFS to replicate data between multiple servers. But in this video demonstration, we are going to see how to install DFS role in Windows Server 2002. So let's get started. So to install a DFS role, uh, first you have to open the server manager and inside the server manager, click on add roles and features. This window will explain you about the importance of roles and features results. Uh, click on next on that console. Select role base or feature base installation and then click on next continue. Out of pool, select the server on which you want to install the DFS. In our demonstration, I'm going to install on our domain controller that is srt.mylab.local. Click on next. In the select server role windows, uh, select DFS under uh, file and storage service. And over here, let's select DFS namespace. Click on add features that are required by DFS namespace. And as well as, let's select DFS replication. Click on next. In the select feature windows, all the dependent features are already selected. You don't need to select any additional features. Click on next. Click on uh, install. Installation progress can be uh, reviewed in these windows. You can even close these windows. It would not interrupt the running task. Click on close once the installation is completed. And that's it. The installation succeeded on our local server. Click on close to close the windows. Again, manage your server by opening DFS management tools. To do that, click on tools. Here's the DFS management tools. Click on it. And here we go. So this is our DFS management console. We have a namespace. And currently, we do not have any namespace, and here's about the application topology. So that's it for this demonstration. In the next part of this video series, we'll see the how to configure the DFS namespace and with the server to open to that Thanks for watching this video.